Good evening, Suffern Mounties. I'm Lisa Weber, Acting Superintendent for the Suffern Central School District. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, our, our purpose tonight, as originally scheduled, was to talk a bit about the budget and a bit about our five-year plan. Due to the events this weekend, we're going to take a few minutes before that uh, to talk about our community. Um, and I'd like to start with a moment of silence in memory of 10th grade student Jackie Zangrelli. This weekend's events have had a tremendous impact on our entire community. For the fourth time this year, we're experiencing the tragic loss of a student. In this case, the complications of other students being involved in the accident um, have made this a particularly complex and difficult situation. Over the weekend, as we learned more and more, our community as they always do, came together. First on Saturday, spontaneously, as many of Jackie's friends were coming out of lacrosse practice and finding out for the first time, spontaneously in the parking lot, many of um, Jackie's friends started to gather along with their parents and school counselors and administrators. On Sunday, we scheduled our, our formal grief counseling, and we had a number of students and many staff attend. Uh, we were assisted in our counseling by um, counselors from other districts, particularly from Rockland BOCES, and from other county agencies, particularly the Department of Mental Health. Um, these outside um, clinicians coming in have been a tremendous support to our district. We will continue to provide counseling for our students, staff, and families uh, for as long as it's needed. Uh, our our Suffern Central staff, of course, in some cases are also grieving, and so we want to make sure everyone is supported. Please, if anyone at home, students, um, want to talk, parents aren't sure how to talk about it, please reach out uh, to your school counselors. Uh, teachers, principals can put you in touch with the right people if you don't know who to contact. Um, we're very appreciative of the support, just uh, outpouring every district offered to send clinicians, every district in the county offered to send clinicians, um, Rockland BOCES, uh, county agencies, uh, county executive Ed Day, Town of Ramapo Supervisor Michael Specht, all of them reached out, um, you know, to really just offer whatever they could do. I've also been in touch a uh, number of times over the weekend with the Ramapo Police Department, who have been incredibly um, supportive and working with the school district and the families, um, you know, to do whatever they can. Um, the uh, spontaneous memorial at the site of the crash. Um, students have been visiting for the last several days, uh, bringing flowers, candles, field hockey balls, um, angels. It's really a beautiful memorial. Unfortunately, it's also really not a safe part of Route 202 to stand on. Uh, we really appreciate the Ramapo PD today. We're able to send over a police car um, who, who's been there basically all afternoon and will stay until dusk. However, Ramapo PD cannot supply a police officer at that spot on a continuous basis. And I went this evening, I, I will tell you, it is not a safe part of the road. I was there while the police car was there and the cones and the lights going, and there were still cars racing past. Uh, we all know that's a road that people drive very much too fast on. Um, and it's really not a safe place. So I really, I hate to do this, but I really have to discourage our students and families um, from going to the, the, the site of the accident just out of your own safety, because it's just not a safe part of the road to be walking on. So um, we are working with Ramapo PD. Um, they're gonna do what they can, but they are also advising um, not to attend that site. We encourage students to um, you know, find other ways to express um, their 
um, condolences and pay their respects. It's been a tough, it's been a tough year and a tough weekend, um, but very proud and very grateful to be in a community that cares so much about each other. Um, at every turn, um, there's been someone to support. Um, this is too much for anyone to handle individually. I know myself, I'm very appreciative of the support I've, support I've received, people reaching out. Um, and the only way we'll get through this is together. And I appreciate everyone, you know, doing their part uh, to support each other. So.